Hello and welcome to my new office that isn't quite complete yet, but will be soon, hopefully. And today, I'm going to do a video that I have been wanting to do for a very, very long time. Monkey tier list. <laughs> On the Trash Taste podcast, I'm sure many of you know, I'm often referred to as monkey brain for my simplistic way of tackling situations. And so I thought, why not just take that in my stride? And I thought, why don't I rate every single species? Well, m- well, not every single- Most species of monkey. <laughs> I'm not very knowledgeable about monkeys, but just, just jump right into it. I realize this is not the exact quality content that I'm normally doing, but just deal with it, okay? This is quality. Let's type in a uh, monkey species. Monkey species. All right, what's this one? Mandrill. Oh, this is the badass one. I know pretty much nothing about this monkey other than it's the one from Lion King. Do mandrill eat humans? Why is that one of the top questions? Is there anything interesting about them on Wikipedia? Mandrills seem to live in very large stable groups named hordes. That sounds fun. A horde can number in hundreds of hundreds. That's badass. Males live a solitary lifestyle and enter hordes only when females are receptive to mating. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. It's just like, I don't want to go with you until I can f <sighs> Though conflicts are rare, they can be deadly, gaining dominance. That is becoming the alpha male, resulting in increased testicular volume. Clearly, uh, not only an alpha male, but a sigma male. This deserves to go in A tier, I think. Very astonishing stuff. Wait, how many, how many breeds of monkey is there? How many monkeys are there? Nearly 200 species. What? Oh my god, look at this one. Golden snub-nosed monkey? This is cute as f Look at this. Oh, this is like the meme. Yeah, yeah, this one, this one. <laughs> oh my god! That is the cutest goddamn thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh no, it's endangered. No, no. We must protect. This one has to go- I, This can't all be S-tiers, but this one is an S-tier. This this monkey is extremely cute. He's a baller. This, what is this one? Romanian white-faced capuchin. Cappuccino. Romanian white-faced capuchin is recognized as the typical companion to the organ grinder. What? What is that? What the f*** is this? What? What the f***? In recent years, the species has become popular in North American media, particularly in the Pirates of the Caribbean film series. It is a highly intelligent monkey and has been trained to assist paraplegic persons. What? That's badass. Just off that alone, I'm I'm impressed. I'm already sold. That's got to go A tier as well. Oh, so these are the Japanese mac. How do you pronounce that? It looks, you know, dare I say, uh, very done with life. Not a single one of them seems to be <laughs> cracking a smile. Oh no, there we go. That's <laughs> that's a smile. That's what. I <laughs> it's like. <laughs> It's like when my mum is like, Connor, you should smile for the photo for once. <laughs> it's just a smile! <laughs> what? Higher ranking males have longer consortships than their subordinates. In addition, higher ranking males try to disrupt consortships of lower ranking males. Females attempt to mate with males of any rank. However, dominant males mate more as they're more <laughs> successful in mate guarding. Jesus. Seems a little intense. Probably give this one a B. Next up is the proboscis, proboscis monkey? I must admit, quite a striking monkey. Very familiar looking. I, I can't quite put my finger on where I've seen this uh, this nose before. Uh, <laughs> it's a large species being one of the largest monkey species native to Asia. Wow. It seems okay. There's nothing super interesting about the monkey other than it has the nose that Squidward also has. So I'll give that a C. It would be in pathetic tier if it wasn't for a, at least a striking appearance. Lion-tailed mac- I can't pronounce that. Macaque. Macaque. All right, lion-tailed macaque. How have I never seen this before? Why has nobody introduced this? Look at this. The lion-tailed macaque, or the wanderoo, is an old-world monkey endemic in the western ghats of South India. Look at this thing. It's got a mane. It is a territorial animal defending its area, first with loud cries towards invading troops. If it proves to be fruitless, it brawls aggressively. It pretty much is just chilling. You know, it's uh, it's ready to throw hands if it needs to, but doesn't really do anything interesting. The visual appearance alone deserves at least a B. I must say, I'm very impressed. Next up, oh my gosh, the Emperor Tamarin. Look at the beard on this boy. What a what a marvelous beard. It has a beard that makes you think that it doesn't fight against the other species of monkeys to fight for it, and then it just enjoys the spoils of war from this foolish. Un 
uncivilized monkeys. The Emperor Tamarin is a species of Tamarin allegedly named for its resemblance to the German Emperor Wilhelm II. The animal reaches a length of 23 to 26 centimeters, plus a 35 to 41 centimeters long tail. Oh, it's like a miniature sized. It's like this big. Holy shit, that's cute. Emperor Tamarins behave actively, rapidly, gracefully. I want to see videos of this. The infants have a father each to look after them, so mum goes to feed on nectar. Multiple dads. Oh, this is badass. I don't think need, more needs to be said. This is definitely an S tier, I think. The vervet monkey. What is this? Let's have a look at this. Oh, it's got a scream. Relatively cute, I'd say. The vervet monkey, or a simple vervet, is an old world monkey, familous. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Vervets were introduced to Florida. Florida? Why were they introduced to Florida? They have been noted for having human like characteristics, such as hypertension, anxiety, and social and dependent alcohol use. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait. Who the f gave these monkeys alcohol? What? They're just at the f club giving them like vodka shots. What? I was going to give it a D because I was not impressed. But after hearing <laughs> that it's basically just a human, uh, it has to go in A tier, I think. I, I mean, actually, no. F Florida and alcohol use? That's it. <laughs> That's S tier. <laughs> Monkey that took selfie. Next up, we have the crested macaque. Holy f This looks terrifying. Look at the baby. It goes from being like, oh, to, ah! Ah! <laughs> I believe this was the monkey that took the selfie. And there's actually quite a famous court case about this. As you can see, the court case about this alone was very long. But I must say, it is a cracking selfie. It's crazy to think they just pick up the camera and know how to use it. My mum can barely use the camera correctly. I'm not trying to insult my mum. I'm just trying to compliment the monkey. Please don't kill me, mum. That That is, that I'm, I am not insulting you, please. But let's find more about this monkey. Critically endangered. Oh no. I was going to give it a medium rating, but I feel kind of bad now. Nah, bingo D still. Central American Squirrel Monkey. Oh my god, this looks terrifying. This is kind of like nightmare fuel a little bit. It is a small monkey with orange back and distinctive white and black facial mask. I'm not very impressed. I must say, I'm, I'm not very impressed after skimming through the Wikipedia page. So it is going to go in pathetic. I'm sorry. A little bit pathetic. I lie, I can't do that. Let's see. Next up is the Bonnet Macaque. And... Holy f this thing looks terrifying when it is a baby. Let's read more about it. The macaque exists as commensal to humans, feeding on food given by humans and raiding crops and how houses. Male bonnet macaques groom each other, hug each other, sleep near each other, play together, and engage in male male mounting as social diffuser. What? <laughs> That's amazing. So you're telling me there is a species of monkeys <laughs> that steals from humans, raids their house, and also is just super laid back and casually mounts each other. I'm f***ing sold. That's S tier. I'm, I'm very much sold. Crab eating macaque. Holy f***. This looks terrifying. Gonna take a wild guess here that it eats crabs. <laughs> There's just a Wikipedia picture that is macaque with soda can dot JPG. I've never seen a man looking down the bottle <laughs> so hard in my life. I'll give it a D. Uh, you know, I'm not unimpressed, but also I'm not impressed. Guinea baboon. Damn, look at this boy. Socially, guinea baboons have more in common with Hamadri's baboon than other baboon species, living in one male units consisting of one dominant male, several female and juveniles, and often a follower male. The harem consists of two to five females which mate with one dominant male. Yeah, it seems interesting enough. They have harems going on, which I'm sure is good. B, I guess? Yeah, B. B. Oh, this is the other baboon that the uh, other baboon article... Why well, have just said baboon? This is the Hamadri's baboon, and in the uh, guinea baboon, Wikipedia. It kept referencing this. This poor monkey got the most unflattering photo of itself. <laughs> I'm gonna know <laughs> when the banana hits different. <laughs> All right, let's let's learn about this monkey, shall we? The Hamadri's baboon was a sacred animal to the ancient Egyptians. Hamadri's baboon often appear in ancient Egyptian art as they were considered sacred to the Toth. A predynastic precursor to Astenu was Babi of the bull of baboons. Babi was also said to give him the righteous dead continuous fertility and used him. <laughs> whoa, whoa! And to use his penis as the mast of a boat to convey them to Egyptian paradise. What? What? This man's using his dick as a boat mast? What? How long is this thing? I don't think I need to hear anything else about this monkey. That is S tier. Top of S tier. I realize now why this monkey was pulling this face. Let me show you guys. Let me show you what's going on here. Because if you remove this, there's actually a boat underneath here. And this is the mast. Next up is Black Howler. 
These monkeys commonly sleep or rest up to 70% of the day. Hell yeah, I can get behind that. Named for their vocalizations, they are most heard often around sunrise. The dawn chorus sounds much more like roaring than howling. This call can be heard up to five kilometers away. Holy shit, that is loud. Just because of the variation in fur, and resting up to 70% of the day and a five kilometer howl, that's B tier. That's pretty impressive. Whoa, Dusk Leaf Monkey. Not only is that name pretty damn badass, this also looks extremely interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, God, that's so cute. That's so. I want to pet one so bad. There's barely anything about this monkey, but it does look very cute. I wonder why there's barely anything about this monkey. Just for its uh, cuteness alone, I'll give it a D tier. What on earth is this? The mantled guereza. Is this like the drip monkey? The mantled guereza has a polygenous harem-based mating system. Jesus Christ, that's like a f light novel title. To scissor mating, it will walk near its potential partner and make low-intensity mouth clicks. During copulation, the male holds on the female's ankles and body. What's it's a very aggressive monkey. It has some drip, but the mating uh, is interesting. So I'll give it a B. Golden monkey? Holy shit, look at this! What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this? I like how they've included the picture of the mating, just in case I couldn't figure it out for myself. Man, these are f***ing better headshots than I have. Not much is known about the golden monkey's behavior. Uh, I know a fair amount. I've seen, frankly, too much about the golden monkey's behavior. Golden monkey just sounds cool. Not too much that's very interesting about it. So it goes in the D tier. Southern pigtailed macaque. Goddamn, does it have an ass. What on earth? Let's learn about the southern pigtailed macaque. I lied, there's literally nothing about it. So I guess pathetic. Colombian Red Howler. The infant will stay with the mother for 18 to 24 months. After males reach sexual maturity, they're expelled from their natal group. The males must then invade a foreign group. There, the male kills off the other leader and whatever offspring the leader sired. Holy shit. Goes to another group and murders them. Absolutely negative chill. Terrifying goes in detail. How am I only finding out that this, this stuff exists, you know? Cotton Top Tamarin. Look at this thing. Look at this. It's got a mullet. It's a monkey that has a mullet. I must know everything about it. Oh my God, there's so much information. They've been observed to immediately start denying cooperation with monkeys that deny them benefits. So if it helps another monkey enough, it will just start punishing it. Language acquisition, what? Wow, they can talk amongst each other. So not only do they treat each other like shit and help each other when it benefits them, they also can speak. Fantastic. It's not penis being used as a mast fantastic, but it's pretty fantastic. That's going in eight here. De Braza's monkey. Oh my my god. It grows a beard. The male Debraza's monkey communicates with booming sounds. It's usually heard early in the morning when the male calls out to establish his territory, purely for the, the beard alone. B tier. Why? I just realized C is above D this whole time. I literally have been filming this whole video and did not realize that. What is this? This is so cool looking. Oh my god, this man looks like he's about to drop like the hottest album this year. Look at this. All right, educate me. Just educate me. Bleeding heart monkey. God damn, that is a f***ing badass name. Since 1979, it's been customary to place the Jigald in his own genius. Though some genetic research suggests that the monkey should be grouped with baboon kin. Okay, so basically people can't decide if it's its own badass thing. God damn. I mean, I'm sold already. I don't really need to hear more that it deserves to go an A tier. I mean, look at that picture alone. God damn. Orangutan. Orangutan's a monkey, right? Let's get orangutans in on this. Not only are they one of the coolest looking monkeys, it's also in Jojo. Whoa. S tier. And now I'm going to learn about it. In 2008, Spain became the first country in the world to recognize the rights of some non-human great apes when its parliamentary's cross-party environmental committee urged the country to comply with the recommendations of the Great Ape Project, which are that chimpanzees, bonobos, orangutans, and gorillas not to be used for animal experiments. I mean, that's good. I'm already sold. I'm already sold. While we're on the smart monkeys, let's talk about some of the other ones. Uh, a bonobo monkey. I actually don't know the difference between a bonobo and a chimpanzee. The bonobos are not a subspecies of chimpanzee, but rather they're a distinct species in their own right. Both species are sometimes referred to collectively using the generalized term chimpanzee or chimps. Wow, so they're not even in the same thing. Bonobos are capable of passing the mirror. Okay, so they're apparently very similar to humans. I think the bonobo certainly deserves to go in A tier. It's a very smart boy, and uh, I'm quite impressed. Is a gorilla? Is a gorilla a monkey? Well, if I had my say, it would go in S tier regardless. Even though it isn't a monkey, gorilla belongs in S tier. I think we can all agree on that. Chimpanzees. 
That's just a cracking photo. Let's learn about some chimpanzees, shall we? Oh shit, I didn't know chimpanzees were an endangered species. Wow. Many attempts have been made to teach languages such as American Sign Language to chimpanzees with limited success. Nim's longest recorded sentence was, Give orange me, give eat orange me, eat orange, give me eat orange, give me you. Attacks. Chimpanzees have attacked humans in Uganda. Several attacks on children have happened. Some of them fatal. Jesus. Some of these attacks may be due to chimpanzees being intoxicated from alcohol obtained from rural brewing communities. What? And mistaking human children for the Western Red... <laughs> No! One of their favorite meals. No, you're kidding me. Chimpanzees are extremely impressive. The fact that they just steal babies sometimes, even if they're drunk, not an excuse. So B tier. Um, C tier. It is intelligent. This is not a very flattering photo. I see why most of these photos have the mouth shut. That's terrifying. The black and white snub-nosed monkey was almost completely unknown until the 1990s. Wow, it's crazy that you, to think that a species could be discovered so recently. That gets to go in B tier for how mysterious it is. Final monkey, the red shank dog. Oh, there's an awful lot known about this monkey. Okay. The red shank dog is the most colorful monkey among all species of primates. They're considered the queen of primates, thanks to their distinct and unique appearance. Before mating, both genders give a sexual signal with the jaw forward. Consent, fantastic. Damn, that is just a cool monkey. That is so sick. That's like when you get the legendary loot box skin in the game. You, you get like that skin. <laughs> Just for that, it gets to go in A tier. I mean, it's it's a very cool design. Download the image so I can give this to you, monkey. I'm supposed to say monkey, Mudan. I've been saying monkey so much. I hope you enjoyed this monkey tier list. Please let me know if you want me to do more tier lists like this in future. This was a very easy video to make and uh, actually very fun. I, I felt like I learned an awful lot today and I am a pseudo expert of monkeys. I felt like I have connected with my brethren. <laughs> I'll link to the tier list down below, so go ahead on Twitter and send me your own monkey tier lists and let me know which monkeys are your favorite and least favorite. Th there is none. There is no least favorite except for one that I put in pathetic. And please, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Subscribing helps the channel so much, and don't forget to like, turn that notification bell on. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will see you beautiful weebs soon. Bye. And of course, this video was brought to you by Boksu. Did you know that Boksu here is the only Japanese snack box that partners over 100 plus year old family snack makers in Japan to deliver exclusive snacks to your door? Every single box has a theme and this one is the Moon Festival. Inside each box is a cultural guide that details each product's origin, ingredients, and even common allergens. So you know exactly where each snack comes from. There's always a hand-picked assortment of snacks and there's always a tea to go along with it to make sure that you're getting the most optimized pairing and a real taste of Japan. And you can auto renew with the option to pause or cancel at any time and your first box will ship out within one to two weeks as it ships straight from Japan. You can receive an individual box, single month, or multi-month subscription starting at $36.99 per box and this free shipping to all US customers. So what are you waiting for? Use my coupon code CDOG10 to get 10% off your very own Boxu, up to $47 off your own authentic Japanese subscription box from Boxu. So use that link to get your very own Boxu. And thank you very much for Boxu for sponsoring this video.